Hello, my name is Tony Hogan. I am a professional artist and tutor and have been for most of my working life. Today I would like to share with you some of the techniques and tricks available for you to use when painting a sunset in watercolours. And it's going to be wet into wet. Wet to the paper. I'm using a heavyweight paper. This is a 300 pound weight, Saunders Waterford. And I'm working with the excellent Daniel Smith watercolours. The secret is to let the paint and the water do the work for you. Let's add a little bit of alizarin crimson. Just a little bit. And we're not painting at all. Dropping it on. Letting it run. That's the secret. This is lavender we're adding. Just gives it that misty effect. Another great colour for this. <coughs> is the quinocridine magenta. Just look how rich that is. See how I'm allowing it to run. Oh, this is going to be a hot sunset. Wonderful colours. And all the way up to the quinocridine magenta now. Such a hot colour. Oh, look at that. Let's have a little bit of that round here. I'll show you why in a moment. Just a few drop, drops of it there. If it starts to run too much, I just lift a little bit of it out again with a brush. And then, as we come higher up, this is where I go to the ultramarine violet. Manganese blue, this. All these are from the Daniel Smith range. I'm sure you will have your own colour palette that you like and your own paints. That's fine. It's the general concept we were looking at just now. Oh, look at that sky. I'm visualising it sideways. Just a little bit of practice and you'll soon be able to do that. When I get to this point, kitchen roll. Rolled into a small ball. Let's see, where does the sun belong? Oh, I think it belongs here. Simple as that, no messing with it. Little sweep. Get a small brush now and bring Few, just a few little marks across it, as though we've got some small clouds. Not much, not much at all. The paper is drying a little bit now. It's still quite wet, but it is drying a bit. This will allow me to control the mark making more. There we go. And maybe even down here. Some more marks. Okay. As I dry the paint, you will notice, because it's watercolour, it will start to fade in its tonal value, i.e. become quite a lot paler. That is how watercolour works. So when applying it in the first instance, be positive in your colours. Wow, look at that sunset there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We can do anything we want with this picture now. Let's today paint some sea. And we're going to start with some of these lovely colours again. 
just what's on my palette now and very carefully and using the side of the brush drag across the paper leaving bits of white showing really using the bits of colour on my palette now what's on the palette this is all i need to use this is the quinocridine magenta that i was using just look at this you think you're on a caribbean holiday wouldn't you Let's have some of the ultramarine violet. Bring this in. Can you see how I'm actually using the side of the brush? It just gives me a bigger working area. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, there you go. So pretty. So soothing, just what we need to calm us down when things get a bit stressful. Again, I'm going to dry that off now. that's pretty dry we'll soon find out yeah just touch it with the back of the hand I can tell if it's dry or not if it's not dry then I'll get marks if it's dry enough I won't get the marks so let's put a little bit more texture onto this now I shall go back to the manganese blue and again with the side of the brush drag across like so this just gives me the thought visual thought of movement on the sea now so just applying a wash that it's called dry brushing is this obviously the brush isn't totally dry and it maybe takes a bit of practice. There's an element of hope and luck involved always at this stage. Because if you get it too wet or you apply it too hard, you lose the sparkle. And we're really looking to have sparkle on the sea now. Movement and sparkle. I think I might go back to the Quinocridine Magenta. Really feel that I want to strengthen this. Okay, so this has got to be a lot drier than the earlier mix when this was working wet in wet. Oh, that's really hot now. Oh, how brave are you? How brave do you want to be? I think we're starting to get things happening. So let's go all the way back now to the first yellow that I used. The new gamboge. Oh, that's a bit strong. Oh, nearly put that on too strong. 
Okay, down here, near the foreground. Colours always appear stronger near the foreground. So here's a chance, oh, look at this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. So enjoying this. Okay. In itself, the painting is looking pretty nice. Let's put some more aspects to it to make it a little bit more dynamic, shall we? So I've got some, excuse me, sorry. I've got some of the, um, I'll tell you in a minute what I've got. Paints blue grey. And round about here, let's see, be brave, stand back. We'll put a mast in, okay? There's a mast. And which way is this going? Just a little... A little bit of a yacht. Whilst it's wet, let's capture and let the underneath run into the sea. Just let it run so it's grounded. And why don't we bring some of the mass down here? Something like that. Just something like that. Perhaps because we're having such a hot painting, perhaps there's a little bit of a red sail in the sunset thing going on. So again, we'll use the Quinocridine Magenta there and a little something going on here. There we go. Going to have a little bit of that in the sea as well. But now I don't want this too strong, just indication. There we go. When that dries in a minute, perhaps we'll have a little man there. Why not? Just here. Let's, let's just put a little man here, he's sailing it. What a lucky man. Great night out sailing. Bet he's enjoying that. And he's all alone. Not very fair, that is it. So. Why don't we, perhaps, whoa, all the way over here, have somebody else having a sail, and his friend here. Oh, a whole group of them there. And they're so far away, we don't see as much. We don't see the colour anymore. Just get the shadow, because the sun's behind. And there you go, a very simple little watercolour for you to have a go at. And finally, the completed piece, signed, ready to go to the framers.